Long story short, one of the fans of that song was Elton John. We did a music video together just during the pandemic. I quarantined for two weeks to do it. It's Elton John. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm not taking that risk. I'm Rina Sawayama, singer and songwriter, and I love dogs. <laughs> Three words I would use to describe myself. Dedicated, passionate, grateful. Something I do that makes my friends and family go, oh, that's such a Rena thing to do. When I get tired, there is a moment where I just switch off behind my eyes, but I just want to keep engaged. Friends and family just know that that's happened. I'll just go. My favorite qualities about myself, really want to write big songs that make people feel a certain way. I didn't enter this industry when I was really young. I'm kind of coming to pop late. And so that's afforded me the time to be a little less industry about things. I'll go into a session with an idea, but it could be a new metal song, could be a country pop song one day. I'm just up for playing and experimenting. When I look at my music, Chosen Family is what I'm most proud of, representing my community, the LGBTQ community. It was a song that I wrote about my friends and the way that I was going through a really tough time with my family. You know, my family weren't really understanding my mental health and I was at university, I was very depressed. And it was this group of queer people who I became friends with and then they made me realize my queerness and allow me to be myself and that was the first time I'd really relaxed into myself. I later realized that that is a concept called Chosen Family. I wrote a song about it on my first record. One of the fans of that song was Elton John. Long story short, did a remix of the song and we recorded it together. We did a music video together just as during the pandemic. I quarantined for two weeks to do it. It's Elton John, <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not taking that risk. He's just such an advocate for HIV and AIDS and he really comes from a very different perspective in terms of chosen family. He's gone and lived through and seeing his friends pass, you know, from AIDS. To do that song with him was really special. When I performed that song live, it's just a beautiful experience. It's just a flood of lights in the audience and lots of teary eyes and I really feel connected to the meaning of the song. What do I want to be remembered for in my lifetime? I want to be graceful with what I do because I think with the presence of social media and how important it's been in artists' careers, it's really easy to shift the discourse on something really important into like 100 characters. I studied political science at university, like I can bring something else to the table, be part of something bigger in a more authentic, intellectual and actually like educational way that's kind of how I want to do it rather than just typing like shady things on Twitter at POTUS you suck. It's easy to do that and I have done that in the past and that's been kind of my journey in activism is that it definitely started on social media. I'm constantly thinking nowadays what can I do that's gonna really make the change and this song this hell I've really got that message deep into the fabric of the song and that's something I'm proud of and that's something I want to keep doing. Sorry, was that really long? I like to talk a bit long. It was not the moment to be snippet. Okay, cool.